Hello folks, quick one for you today. We're over at the National News website, nationalnews.com. Uh, this is being widely reported today and basically uh, confused.com, the well-known comparison site for car insurance and things like that, have basically put together a list of the cars that are stolen most often in the UK. We're going to look at the top 10 brands and the top 10 models. I think it's been widely publicised that car theft is sort of on the increase in the UK. It seemed to almost go away for a little while, but it's back with a vengeance. And people obviously are pointing the finger at the cost of living crisis and people turning to crime. I don't know if it's quite as simple as that. It might just be becoming slightly easier to steal cars again. Who knows? Um, but this study here shows that Land Rover is by far and away the leader in the clubhouse when it comes to cars that disappear from driveways and car parks. The stats here from the DVLA suggest that about one in every 100 Land drovers in circulation was stolen in the year ending March 2023. That's an astounding number of vehicles, folks. Mercedes-Benz followed with a theft rate of 323 per 100,000 cars. Ford and BMW were next on the list. Keyless car theft in particular is on the increase, and that's because thieves are using new technology in order to achieve it. So they're using um, wireless receivers and transmitters. So they're basically cloning your key. Now, the interesting bit with this is that they can actually do it from outside your house. And a lot of people obviously leave their car keys hanging up by the front door or in a bowl near the front door. So it, we're really playing into their hands with this kind of stuff. I have put a link in the video description to something that I just saw on Amazon. Um, it's quite cheap, it's a little box. Put the key in there and it actually prevents that uh, signal from being transmitted. So you might want to consider investing in something like that. That's not an endorsement, by the way. I've never tried one of them, but it certainly seems like a decent idea at least. Not only were the car thefts on the increase, but also thefts from cars. So people leaving items in the open or in the boot and uh, finding that they're missing when they return. In 2022, thieves made off with 212,900 items from cars. And that's an increase of about 20,000 items compared to the previous year. The managing director of the AA Insurance Service has said that car theft could actually spiral out of control. And uh, obviously, year-on-year -year increases are a very bad sign that that is already happening. So we must take a little bit more care in protecting our possessions. Consider getting a tracker fitted if you've got one of these really popular vehicles. And do think twice about where you leave your car keys. Now, over on the Car Scoops website, they've actually got the list of the most stolen cars. Six Range Rover models feature in the UK's 10 most stolen cars list, which is incredible, isn't it? You can see the list here, Range Rover Velar, Range Rover Sport. Lexus RX 450H, Lexus RX 450H F Sport, um, Range Rover Sport SVR, Range Rover Sport HSE, Range Rover Velar R Dynamic S, uh, Fiesta ZTEC S Red Edition, Fiesta ZTEC S Black Edition, and then Range Rover Sport HSE. So the only cars that are not uh, Land Rover cars in that list are the Lexus RX 450 and the Ford Fiesta ZTEC S. If we look at manufacturers overall, Land Rover number one, Mercedes Benz 2, Ford 3, BMW 4, Audi 5, Toyota 6, Fiat 7, Volkswagen 8, Vauxhall 9, Hyundai 10, and Saya in 10th. Obviously, these are all mainstream vehicles that sell in reasonably large numbers. It's not just the premium brands. You know, we do have Saya, we do have Vauxhall, we do have Fiat in amongst there. So just something for everyone to be aware of. As I said, perhaps start by considering if you've got a car with keyless entry, just start by really thinking about where you leave your keys. Maybe invest in a little device to sort of protect the keys when they're inside your house. And just think a bit more carefully about leaving things on show in your car. Hope that one is of some use to someone. See you on the next one.